in a weird way, Capricorn, that's kind of one of the things that the reasons that I do characterize the way I do. I optimize a lot of things in games that I play, but I also optimize in the wrong way or just sometimes poorly. So by making, by offloading essentially the character creation process and brainstorming like that to viewers, I can get a wide variety of things. I can get unoptimized mob memes or I can get min max to all shenanigans like potential and there's rarely an in-between and it makes it very entertaining to try and remember which units are optimized which ones aren't and if they're optimized for the right or wrong class they're currently on it makes everything memorable and i love it so much recording has uh, started and i did before even checking my hard drive so let me quickly make sure my computer's not gonna implode we good all right hey everybody rebellion here welcome back to Etrian odyssey next yeah something to do we have to make a new team. <laughs> She's personally attached to the character. <laughs> also true, yeah. The only two BIS that can uh, even help this team. I'd recommend using the old team to hunt down these, to hunt these guys down. Two things to prep. Probably we can. I would want the new characters set up though first, and then we hunt down what they need. So the first part of the stream is just going to be getting everyone's team set up or getting this new team's skill points put where they need to be so we know what we have as a building block what items they need and then we can try to hunt down anything that they require and i already have a sneak suspicion that some things here are not going to exactly be the funnest it was like 1k viewers i do not know if this would be viable if I had an increased viewer amount, but I'm sure it would be still funny as hell. I'm sure it'd still be funny, and I would have had, and I would have actually had to get Ennabot back up and running so that way I could, because Ennabot has a function that she can make sure that I only see chat messages from the specified viewer, so that would at least make sure that I can filter out all the noise. But <laughs> it'd be certainly jank. All right, so crew or er, primer information. Aiden was actually uh, what's it called um, uh, retired. So this is Aiden two. Mio was retired, so this is Mio two. Fang was not retired. I was not retired. Motom was not retired. So Mio and Aiden have bonus points to work with. Motom and Fang do not. So let's go ahead and start right now with what guys are going to be put into what, all right? And I have... Uh -huh. Danger Fang. Danger Fang, she opened up already, so I'm going to start with you first, apparently. So Fang has given us his uh, thing has given us his declaration all right guys yep aiden and mio are the only ones that am uh, re am uh, retired so there are new units at the bottom again but fang is getting a subclass now no Please be jank because we cannot salvage jank running with that. Or the bench can step in like lab one. And they wanted their subclass to be Highlander. They also didn't give me a name to work with here. They didn't give me a name to work with. Pedal Scatter Ronin class name. Pedal, Sc Pedal Scatter Ronin Highlander class name. Actually, can we rename these after my... Um, uh... Let me check something. Okay, yeah, you could change style at any moment. 
I'm gonna ask him what he wants his classroom to be, and then I'll get back to us on that. But Fang wants to be a Highlander. And now Ronin subclass Highlander. Now let's see where they put their points. In Highlander, there is nothing in thrust. Bloody Veil is at two. When the user takes da a damage, all defense increases until the end of turn. HP up by four. Physical defense up by four. No bloody offense. All right, then. Physical attack up by four. Oh, wait. No more here. I mean, yeah, you're right. And it, <gasps> he has mine. Okay. Let's fucking go. Cliff stands to eight. Yes. <laughs> Nothing in the other stances at all. She strike to four. Would you miss skill troll? Nothing. We're just getting skill points into the characters right now. All right. She she strike to four. Yes. That's just to initiate swift stance. Airblade to two. Arm strike to two. Yes. <laughs> you mean the boss already? Yeah, we're on to the fourth shrine. Breath at three. And duel to six. Increased damage when using the same when attacking the same target of the previous turn. Ah, gotcha, that's why. Okay. Physical attack up by eight. Horizontal slash to four instead of three. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Bridget slash up by three. Petal scatter maxed out at six immediately. Oh boy, 34 TP cost. Yes! Full proficiency. Immediately to 10. <laughs> Speed up eight. <laughs> and rouse spirits at four. Because of that TP bang, it'll work out. Does Ronin might help here? I hope it does. It feels weird seeing a Ronin and not having Helm Splitter, though. Like, I just. I associate Ronin with Helm Splitter so much now because it's an attack that ignores all resistances. It's just true damage, and I love it. Quick note, Ronin. They know how busted the class is with DPS, so they lock, uh, lock their best in, class, best in slot behind quite a bit. So the Tana from Iwao normal drop should allow him to do pretty good damage. Yeah. All right, next one. I'm gonna say, wait, did he send me one? He did. All right. Motorm sent me his. Let's go here. All right. Now Motorm had to be in a rest. Had to rest in order to get to seventy six again. But he didn't remember what he had before, so he said, "You know what? Just change it and get as far as close as you could to what I had before." And I'm like, "All right, sure." And Motorm went it's what classes. He didn't fucking show me which one it was by name. I have to figure it out based on what it's 
called? Hold on. Uh, what's what's called? They're called. No. It's the uh. Ah. Um. Uh... Zodiac. Yeah. It's the one they have, like the one that could learn meteor. Yeah, Zodiac. These girls. Yep. And also, more time to give me a name. So again, we will wait until they get here so they can Those give us a name. All right. And now Motorm's build. Attack order maxed out. Guard order maxed out. They don't get take, and God help us all. They're not taking Royal Veil vale or Monarch March. Oh dear God. They fully changed the bills. Cause I know we had these. <laughs> on Hades Rain. Welcome to us seeing what we have to work with. Reinforce to 10. Ah. <laughs> Shock arms, freeze arms, and fire arms maxed out. God, there's a lot here that's maxed out in the beginning. The TP cost for everything. Oh my God. She didn't even get negotiate. All right, I, I always forget that, that skill exists anyway, so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's on me. Elemental bomb one. Ten. Ah, so Rally order and protect order, not selected at all. Tactical decree, not selected at all. Elemental bomb two. at one ah. wait and then the zodiac what did what did they get from the zodiac singularity at four TP up by four. Ah. And For what? Four. Four. I'm forgetting something here. Eight. Eight. Nothing. 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 Ten. Eight. 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 Nothing, ten, nothing, nothing. Ten for the other one. Nothing, 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 nothing. Then it shows Zodiac getting the four TP up. I got that. And then we have... And one. Yeah, we have four leftover points. It was built without reincarnation, but Motorm was not reincarnated. Those must go. 
because they're still right here at the bottom. If they were retired, they would show up here at the top. So... Motor. Maybe a passive? Not that I can see. Eight, 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 ten. Nothing, 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 nothing. We gotta wait for Motor. Maybe. <laughs> maybe he'll get Royal Veil. I don't know. Monarch March, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he'll get some other stuff. You're here? Alright, Motor. What, is, what name do you want your character to have? But also, you have leftover points. According to the picture you gave me, you have leftover points. Four of them total. Yeah, you have four le points left over. And a class name, yeah. Zodiac, I am here. All skills I want are there. Go to Sovereign. here he just has four pay or four points left over and protect oh these ones all right for three turns uh inc max hp for an ally line is increased three turns ally line recover the hp at the end of turn all right then ah. yes. <laughs> all right then and then i'm not gonna Those forget about guys. this what about your title Motor, what do you want the name of your class to be? I was impossible. We'll keep that in mind. All right. But also, class name. What would you have us put in? Buff princess. All right. Odyssey channel, or should I use the one you sent to me as a DM? 
I do not know. Latest DM will do that. So for Aiden, the ninja, who's possibly going to be the dodge tank. Let's go ahead and set your subclass. Night Seeker. What should your name be? Just seeker. All right. Oh, Ninja seeker or nin or nin fun seek seeker. Seek probably fit. Either one of them fits. Whatever one you want. Let's go with Ninja Seeker then. Why not? Alright, Nippon Dagger. Instantly maxed out. Rain Staff to four targets and can put them to sleep. Max five targets total with this. Then Shadow Bind for three. They go to the name back of the making a joke about how we're mirroring each other. <laughs> Successfully evading an attack. Proficiency to four. Yep, you can attack from the back line without reducing damage. Concealment to ten. Jesus Christ. And then Bone Crusher to two. And nothing in Caltrop. After that, Izuna at eight. May look at one entry. May pet for five. All right then. Revenge bomb, nothing. Beheading, nothing. Auto mirage, nothing. And status attack up, maxed out. Hawk strike, nothing. Nippon Double, nothing. And Nippon Flight, nothing. Also, no, this makes it so Aiden can use all melee attacks from backline. So, have issues with his star ability complete from the backline with no issue. Yep. And then for the back one right here Mystic Calm. Reduce the TP cost of things by four. Right. And that's all the points he puts into uh, Ninja. Now we're on a knife maker. Sand throw the three. Cape throw the three. Proficiency to five. Blade Fury to four. 
けるでしょうなんと素晴らしいやりました Shadow bites the three. Kore de ikeru de shou! Nan to subarashi! Wait. Oh, yeah, Follow Trace doesn't have any points in it. He wants Follow Trace and no Swift Edge. No, he wants all of it in the shadow trace or follow trace. The rest isn't going to Swift Edge. <laughs> hold. All right. Hold on. You have Shadow Bite. That's already okay. So yeah, max out follow trace. And then one more level, and he can get Swift Edge and other stuff. Like, don't forget, these characters are gonna level up as they continue in the dungeons. Next five points in Swift Edge. All right. And we have two quests. We have a couple of quests. Yeah. Last and certainly not least, we have Zeno with his character Mio, who I need to say, I have. Apologize to everyone who thought that he was gonna go for the repeat. I thought that that would offer damage, but I forgot who owned the character. And I forgot what their plans were, that they had have even sent me a document for like how they wanted the skills to be managed. So let's make sure we have this understood properly. Mio is going to be Harbinger. Protector. And I don't think he gave me a name for it either. So, it's default class until he gives me a name. Now let's go through that. Zeno Ferrisan, I, I respect you so much, man, but also, that picture is so small. I gotta zoom in a bit here. Alright, so, start from the top. Harbinger. Eroding Miasma to eight. Stifling my ass mod to eight. Yes! Oh. All right, so it's already now uh, set in stone. Mio has a better eroding miasma than I do. So the miasma will now fall on him, but I need to do a tropic eye. Luggish miasma to three. Yes. Oh. And miasma armor to four, of course. God bless you, good sir. You took take. Endless Shroud of three. Yes. <laughs> and then Atonement to three. Yes. Oh. As true as that is, Rev, don't let the Miasma Armor drop. Yeah. Yeah. The override, um, uh, the highest one status? I actually do not know. Like, actually, I have a question to you guys. 
if I put in, if I put on the enemy eroding miasma, it does lower the debuff to scores level or does it prioritize the, high, uh, the higher use? I don't know, actually. So, like, for example, if Mio uses eroding miasma first, it applies the level 8 one. But then, let's say in the same turn, Square uses eroding miasma, which is capped out at level 4, or five, at 4, I believe, or 5. Does it extend it? and keep it from uh, its current level or does it go to the replace it entirely with mine it overwrites you can't use lower level skill to extend also good morning all right no well thanks thanks for stopping by and immediately answering that question all right if that's the way how that's gonna be then i might huh hmm. you can do the tropic yeah it's going to work out fine. Three, three, four. Yep. That's everything we need. I thought we were going to go for the reef, but no. Bolting my asthma to eight. That already is going to be incredible for how much it will make the opponents vulnerable to ailment. Black Shroud to eight. Full transfer at four. Spirit Absorb to six. I think that is. Yeah, six. For HP, and, uh, when you inflict an enemy with a debuff, can heal beyond maximum HP. Yes! That is attack up. Apparently none. All right. And then black wave at four. Dude, so if you're letting Mio do her thing, you have a tropic. Also, if Mio needs two versions to use an event to protect skill, yeah, we can step in and do a half version of it. That's also important and fine. <laughs> and then we have this. Ephemeral Reap at ten. All right, it did take one reef, uh, reef skill. You want exclusive it over, uh, otherwise it overrides. Gotcha. A murder blender scale. Yes. And nothing else taken on this page. I think I'm assuming as much because he has no skill, no points in miasma wall or spirit of my barrier. But the image cuts out and during armor at all from being seen. So I'm assuming if no point in this, that's impossible. Put it on point. Then protect. Front guard at two. Yes. Oh. Ally shield yes. at one. Rear guard at two. Yes. <laughs> shield smite at three. Oh. <laughs> On at four. Yes! <laughs> no preemptive taunts at all, so it's not going to be an automatic thing. We can use it to take the edge off of, let's say, if Aiden's getting fucked and Aiden's down and the opponent might attack something else. Then taunt can be used to, like, sort of draw some of the aggro. Rear guard at two. Wait, no, not, not rear guard. Recovery guard. Actually, still at two. For one turn, any an ally line takes through physical damage and recovers from a bind. Yes! Very good. Oh. And I'll do it right now. One point into heal guard. Restore one line's HP and lower physical damage to them for the turn. Mm. Shield bash to two. Nothing in key card, nothing in physical defense stuff. I can't see elemental defense. Or volt wall, but I see firewall and ice wall at one. Yes. yes! Nope, technically, from what the image can show me, that's everything. One on each wall, alright. Yes. One on volt wall as well. 
then you have one point left over because we brought you in at level 76 but you only gave us a build up to 75 so you got one point to put wherever you want Where would you want to put this in a parasite? Chill bash. Gotcha. <laughs> this team suddenly shaped up, I think, in a pretty nice way. Everyone's now got a decent amount and seeing your wisdom and like your wisdom and vitality is so high is kind of scary. Ronin strength naturally at 102. You should never use shield mass. You're going to overload with debuffs and override shit. We gotta be careful because only everyone can only have three debuffs at once. Yeah. He's fine. We will keep all of that in mind. And Mortem left us with a single message. As much wisdom as possible. Let's see if we can make all that a reality. Alright, Aiden. Shall I assume you want the Master Sword? Bold, you're not using that anymore. And would you want the um, uh, Aikuchi as well, or would you want to go for something else as an offhand, if at all? Don't want to be Buzzkill, but he will need to dual wield daggers so he has access to skills. Wait, really? I mean, offhand. Oh, all right. Hey, you're going to need a dagger of some kind to access the skills. I figured that. This is hard. No worries. I'm sorry. Nakuchi, if no 3 0 strength weapon exists, I can use. Alright, let's check that first. Let's see if there is a 3 strength dagger. And there's this one that gives pierce to that fits. The armor blade, which is HP up 3 arrows. Yeah, it looks like there is no two strength up one. It would just be the Akuchi again. Are we gonna want the Lacey Hide and Almighty Ring as well? Just like wholesale steel guild here. gear. <laughs> Pretty much has to. <laughs> I want the best in slot strength, uh, strength act. That's not gonna lie. Okay, actually, then we could do that. Let's put in the Akuchi right there. Oh, wait, that's right. He can't actually equip him a uh, Giltro's armor. But he's going to pick the strength ring. So instead of an Omni ring, he'll get, instead of this one for 311, he's going for 319 and more HP. Remember that ninja's strength and luck. 
So that 16 strength is 32 points in the two of two And then when it gives it three times, it gives 24. Yeah. Alright. Strength ring it is then. Nanjo? Let me give his armor back to go for photo to take up space. Nanjo? Oh, that's right, you have this. No, that's for medic. Dark attire is it, right? For no leg bind resist, good, decent defense, and majority match defense. Yeah, it's anti leg bind. Is it weird that it feels not as powerful as the other best in slot armor I've seen? I guess maybe just like Sept is all powerful with that much defense, match defense, and the plus five. That I'm like thinking about it like that, but it feels like that one's not as strong. But maybe I really am severely underestimating how bad leg like, bind is for just him as a ninja. When we get to the Ronin armor, you will be sad then happy. <laughs> that higher defense that didn't break the uh, ninja. Nah. You could the nin the defense could go to say 80, and I think it'd still be kind of all right. And yeah, you're right. Leg bind cripples ninja. Especially if they're trying to go for the dodge tank thing. It utterly ensures that there's no active check. It's just you attack the ninja. Alright, next on the list. Mio. You? Hold off on equipping Motorm and Mio? Alright then. Sure, we can do that. Now Fang, the Highlander. You just want a sword, I think. You just want as much damage as possible, I believe. Do you want those with scythe for glory? Maybe, but... You gotta find it first. I'm definitely trying to hide what the bit best gear is. We'll find it eventually or not at all. Either one. Yeah, this is just gonna be this. Fang's gonna have a boss weapon. It's a conditional boss weapon, I think, right? It gives him a boulder toss. Actually, know if we if he wants to dual wield or not. I don't know if the Highlander will give him anything like spectacular. Like Bone Piercer, admittedly, could be used for the three HP arrows for two extra HP, basically, or twenty five extra HP. So we have to see if there's a, a good strength offhand so we can give him. Gauge fills to increase uh, the what's called force gauge that he gets. Uh, Death Claw for Queen Verdict, which is random bash to all enemies. All enemies that ran four to six. Sword for HP up three arrows again to 260. Wisdom agility lock and HP white spark. All right, there's there's one, and of course it's the foul ship.
Yeah, we're just basically putting a katana or something on the offhand for strength buff. Assuming he doesn't want anything else. I'm surprised how little of these things have strength buff. We didn't get the Krella conditional. Yep, we didn't. What is Motorm using weapon? We don't know yet. Motorm just gave us the rule of as much uh, wisdom as possible. The plus six strength love. <laughs> Damn. It's kind of prepping for Rodin, but we didn't get it. So, oh well. Does anyone have a falchion? That HP up. And we have nothing in reserve that did attack up. Lacey Hyde, it would give him plus two to all. Older place with an almighty ring, probably. Maybe it would work. Yeah, that's strength plus four. We could do that. It's certainly a lot of like stats coming from different places, so it's alright. Banging up sewing. Uh, Fang went into, uh, Nin, or went into Ronin and uh, Highlander. While Motorm went Zodiac. Am I quiet for anyone else? Actually, am I? I'm sort of speaking lower right now, but I don't think I'm quieter. Sometimes it's a bit too loud in the shops. I guess, yeah, the shop does have a bit. Hold on, let me see. Maybe that sounds a little bit better. I do not know. I just don't want, like, I don't want to accidentally peek on the mic. Yeah, this would be pretty good, I say. Because with this setup right here, he has plus two. Plus eight, so his strength is getting a, a plus ten right there, and then well, this is a plus four, uh, four as well, so it's plus fourteen, plus fourteen to strength and plus <laughs> ten to everything else. Pretty evenly balanced out. It's more defense and still strength, 
of plus 14, yeah. Next is Mio and uh, Motorn, but she said to hold off on those, so I will. Now, from what I understand, we have some best in slots that we can try to hunt down right now. With the previous team. Or something else like that. So we can certainly try those. One or two of them, I'll say. As long as they're not too apt to try and get. Because I'm assuming one is for Mio. And probably the other one might be for Motor. Set up, uh, so uh, for setup, get one form and like as many head binders, uh, blinders from the shop as you possibly can. All right. Two. Do you ever any of your units have headbind skills? Not, not really. Like, let me swap to the other team to show you. This was the previous one with Narsobo. Let me, let me register this one. Mirai did not have one, I believe. William did not, I believe, either. Giltrill did not, I believe, either. Square didn't have one, either. He can get a circle for a headbind, but he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it right now. And then Nersobo certainly does not have one. We have nothing to specifically go for the head. Yeah, Sumi had leg bind, I believe, in one of her things. just bring up pugilist i mean yeah we could uh, we gotta go Sorry. all right so we're gonna go hunt stuff i'm gonna unfortunately even though i just did it have to get these things back Or someone else is using the um, uh, everything one. And this put an almighty ring on you as well. But I don't have any more. Sote, sote. Thankfully, I could buy plenty of Almighty Rings for no reason at all. All that armor, I don't think I could buy another one. Yeah, Lacey Hyde, no, we need another evil plume. I'm gonna grab the other character.
That we're gonna sell this and this. Remember those three? We can sell these things as well. And she can head bind the boss. She could, I think, yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me get a form. I have one right now, but... We have three left in reserve. We have three chances to just get a conditional if it is too annoying. Four total, technically. I just swear that a formal high can be sold for just 2k considering how valuable it is. Alright. One formal to hide at the ready. What are we going for first? Let's save. Don't know what my pedal bridge box. Don't remember which one that was. The harpy lady? I'm probably gonna remember it the moment I see it. Right. This means just form her. I mean, we have a curse circle. So, like, it's not entirely out of the question. <laughs> you take very little damage now. Press conditions are automatic form. <laughs> Alright, so first off, she has 14k HP. Never seen the damage deal. Okay, so maybe we can utterly destroy this boss. Maybe. Alright? There's no guarantee. might just set up sleep or something. Okay, not sleep. Maybe a paralysis. Let's set up a nerf circle. Well, nerf Sobo can get Great Warrior on Fake Ocho. Oh, for blind at least to mean something. Big damn it. Alright then. That was their strongest attack. We could die to that man. I'm just saying. We could have been utterly demolished by that. All right, so once again, we're going to whittle her down a little bit more. And I have confidence that we can utterly destroy this boss. The question is, can everyone else destroy her? Yeah, just go nice and slowly on this. Do 
Gil. You're going to sand throw again, funny enough. It's not going to land or do anything, but it'll be some damage. Bonk, bonk. We should not be able to kill it right now. Actually, no, you're going to Great Warrior Samira. that half HP. I can count on a kill here. I should be able to count on a kill here without any issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead and get um, uh, Excel Drive queued up. That just prevents it from overheating, so don't worry about that. Yours is after him doesn't want like to spawn and have greater attack. Not exactly something that boosts, but we'll give you a Mirage Slash so that way you spread a little bit more. Giltrel, as you are among the fastest, you need to form out a hide. I will go ahead and Entropic Eye as well. Wow. You will force to get attack and attack. And. Hopefully, there's no stupid shit that's about to happen, right? Hopefully, there's no stupid shit that's about to happen. Great Warrior is already available on um, uh, Tumire and Giltrol. We can put it on William, but that's about it. Which actually might help out, I'm not sure. I'm not you, you have to kill this turret. Could I? Still used. That would have killed her anyways. <laughs> that could have been almost awful, actually. If it just rolled the right bind, she just could have done nothing. Yeah, if that was not an arm bind. <laughs> if that was an arm bind, we would have just instantly been very angry right there. I was waiting for the arm bind on Imperial. <laughs> And if she missed, true. Oh, that'd be awful. <laughs> now let's see if what that gets us, all right? In <laughs> the lowers accuracy. Oh, yeah. Cradle Edge. What is that? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> 200 attack and 220 magic attack. Two to four melee cuts to all enemies that random may bind head, arms, and leg. You can only get something once, but that's Fucking good. Alright, so I have to I have to make sure guys, I have to make sure. So uh Zeno Parasite, would you want that scythe for me or do you have something else in mind for your character? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> That's literally strange seeds would maybe better. For all I know, I had the better chance. I'm actually not sure what the numbers are for the skill. It's good off of strength and luck, so like, that's not bad actually. She had a strength 74 and a luck of 89, but maybe it could be good. Because her equipped one is Rending Claw. Powerful low actually cut to one enemy. Which I'm curious, how much does this a skill like this actually hold up right now? the number for feast i would not know chat would have to look it up what 
220 by the looks of it. I think they mean them uh, like for feast specifically, like the skill. Like how high is the binding chance? 20% per hit? Uh, so it's not that good, but also not that bad either. I think the uh, Arcanus from the circles caps out at, uh, for buy chances at least, I think, what, 30%, right? No, I guess this is the target bind. Ah. Still, that is a lot on there. It can still be a nice AoE, yeah. Ooh. From advantage, yeah. Any bind is good. Any bind is good for the team. All right. Mata kuru no matte o rezo. All right. To make sure our stuff is back at full, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. It will save that we did that as well. Nani nani. All right, I'm going to go retrieve, because I'm pretty sure we're going to need another form, right? And now, what is the next one? So the next boss is the Queen Ant. Your conditional is headbind, so you could sub someone out to help with that. We could. We could. Alright, then let's see. If well, the Queen Ant's gonna be iffy because aren't we fighting that on level as well? So like that can still be a rough fight. Has the Queen respawned yet? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she's in there. After how much we farmed. I want to bet she's in there. Ice level headbinder. Uh, what is like who has good headbind chance? That would be either either a pugilist or a gunner. She has head some, uh, she has head snipe, so like, we could do that. Probably would need to be bumped up a little bit more, but it could work. She's also 62. Yeah, I was gonna say, what if we just got Carlos and made him and made him bind focused for this one moment? This will be his one chance. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, what is the best thing to try and make Carlos the binding one of all? What should be his? What should his subclass be to make sure that he gets the bind? to have Binding Blade and have Binding Carlos. Bad night, what I miss? Uh, Solo Gem, we got the conditional for the um, uh, Harpy boss in the Petal Bridge. It's a scythe for Mio. It's actually very good. And now we're trying to see Harbinger for Binding Miasma. We already have Binding Mia... Uh, wait. Who owns Carlos anyway? No one. No, whilst the person who requested it was here for the first stream and they never came back. Looting the status only, that's right. But then he'd have to equip a scythe to do that, wouldn't he? Or are Miasma skills not caring about. That's right, because Mo's called. I don't have one. Square doesn't have one. Only reaps. All right, then you think Harbinger would be it? One of those together? You don't even have to, Noah. This character is going to be used for this one time only. 
They are pugilists, and we want to make sure they bind and nothing else. We made this. We decided to make this a community a puny character, but we never really ended up using a pugilist, and we always like and prefer to use Axel. So this person will be used for this one instance and probably never again. This is a blank slate character, quite literally. With only these points previously invested and level 78, I feel like Carlos can hold his own and go into a single fight for his entire fucking career. Yeah, whenever a person was uh, too leveled and we, I was leveling up characters in the background, Carlos would be the first to sub in when like we no longer needed levels or like someone didn't need levels, but the party still needed to like say, I people were leveling up and someone was, um, uh, and one or two people got there first. It'd be Carlos and one other person that came in just for random levels. And chipped in a concussion. <laughs> He's gonna want double punch status attack up. Concussion maxed out at least. Yeah. Alright, so what should a subclass be? Do you guys think I'm a harbinger? Or should we, is there something else that we can better use for like binding inflection chance? Double punch max, that is from both Harbinger and Pugis max. I got Pugis Ninja for traditional binds, but you can also go Highlander for consistently with Blood Fortune. What does Blood Fortune do? Hold on. No, you are not the one. You were Highlander. Where's Blood Fortune? I want to see what that does. Assume the party's HP to raise their bind ailments to death rate for three turns. It can only go up to level four. But even then, it just says HP cost up. It doesn't say like the bind ailment chance up, so you'd want to get it to three maybe. So what is the, out of curiosity, what is the bind chance for concussion at max level out of curiosity? Nine at sub max. 45%. Now what is the bind chance for the ninja's head bind at max out of curiosity? <laughs> Oh, Ninja has no bite? Nah, I was just venting. Oh, gotcha. Like bite, yeah. You're making demons sad, Reb. <laughs> All right. I think we might go for I 
scrutinizing the six plot. True. Hi so the options are Highlander or Harbinger or Ninja, right? Because Ninja, I think, gets. They get status attack up, so, like, they can use it. I think our heart will do better. Because uh, I figured I'm a. Uh, where is it? Blood Fortune. Since part of HP to raise their bind ailment success rate for three turns. How much does this get? I posted a basic build. One second. Let me see. Demonstrate to inflict head bind, arm bind, and leg bind. Infliction chance at 60%. How much does Blood Fortune increase it at level 3 out of curiosity? Or actually level 4 wouldn't even matter that much, but how much does it get up to? How much does it actually boost? I'm assuming it's like probably 7% or something. It's only it's only half as effective. It's in half? Okay, that's actually not bad. Alright. Wilting biting is 0.3 and 18 at half. But one eight and a half. Combine that with meditation. You know that's true. Meditation exists. Alright, we'll go Highlander. Okay, now here's the question. Who's getting out of the team so that way we can do this? Because I don't think he would be as effective in the back, bro, would he? Or do you think William? Demire? Really? Misery would at least add <laughs> best of that one. The DPS fine with the killing in ten and Kalabog. No, he could. He could. Sure, we'll go for that then. All right. So for Carlos, concussion at. Double punch at uh. and I do not see what else is here. <laughs> what up, Dana Parasite? Gotta find it first. Meditation is all the way at the end. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Alright, that's three, one, one. Status attack at eight. Ah. I block things that aren't important. How dare you? <laughs> No cross counters needed at all. Spirit Shield at one. Bloody Fortune at four. Physical Defense up at four. Physical Attack up at four. And HP up four. Anything else that's extra, they don't need it. They're not going to be here for any longer than this one fight. 
<laughs> love how you didn't even let me get one two punch because it's just we're only going for the headbind and nothing else in that case more hp yes. so he doesn't go down Is annoying. <laughs> yeah, nothing else really matters right here. Good ones are equipped normal attacks. Yeah. Well, he's like, gonna, he's not going to be dealing to. Oh my fucking god, his HP. All right. I didn't realize how much HP he was going to get, but now we have to gear him up. We need to give him something to help him out. He needs a fist, I believe, in order to be able to do any of these things. Strength luck fist. Should we give him the luck one, the golden bandages, just because? Or should we go for a strength? I don't even think there's a strength one, if I'm being honest. Okay, no, there is one. But it's sold out. So now I had you on for that shit. <laughs> All right. So now we just need, well, technically if he has this as a sub weapon, he can use something else for his primary weapon, right? have some luck spears right i mean <laughs> there's this one the moon spear it's 75 55 but also the luck fist is 62 56 okay so yeah there are no strength items that's what feels This is the highest attacking weapon we can give him right now. But it feels so weird to do it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to give him the Moon Spear primary and the Fist of the sub weapon because... Also, bloody offense. He doesn't have bloody offense, actually. Monkey using a quarter staff, a very pointy quarter staff. Yeah. He has points for it. I mean, technically, he does. Too bad, we already got it. Could also use Flooding Veil for more defense. Yes. Fuck it, sure. <laughs> but alright, so for Carlos, sub weapon is this. 
able to use that weapon skills in battle. So, yep. <laughs> I just thought, wait, should we just give him Bone Piercer? Because it's HP up. He'd be able to 412 HP. <laughs> or no, should we refrain from that? Probably better overall. Yeah, yeah, probably. Mm. I fucking strengthen a spear. that he needs an all might actually does he want the almighty ring or does he want the strength ring which one would be better if the mighty ring is plus eight to all he's not available to buy but we do have one in reserve So we could just move that over to him for this one moment and that's it. They'll save him and you flip. Uh, I, uh, it's also, I'm going to assume, just okay, sure. Ooh. And then anything else that gives him attack. Or something that possibly, because I doubt anything gives actually like bind uh, increasing chances. I could get him another um, uh, boulder bracers. Might want to give him actual armor. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just noticed he has nothing. Okay, I just noticed that. All right, I'm sorry. I don't have another lazy hide, though. <laughs> I can give him the huge plate, but... <laughs> oh, no, but it takes one fifth damage from everything. I know, I know. Didn't get one shot with a huge HP <laughs> Decided to make this man a chancy. <laughs> there we go. He's he'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. How do you this post game? Yep. All right, let's save and we're going to attempt this, all right? <laughs> His face is going to be in that. All right. Now we need to go back to the seditious colony, right? Yep, the boss is there again. I also forgot that because we got rid of Sumir, we don't have horoscope anymore. I care about none of this, just escape. That's a lie. Maybe. I, 
forgot about this whole thing. Unfortunately, now, no matter where I move, she's going to move away. Well, if I do that, there's one, but you know what? I'm going to say fuck it. We're just going to have to kill her fast. Hopefully. What's the best as to uh what's the best as on her? Sleep. Sleep and poison are the ways to go if we can. But first things first, we gotta drop through the HP, because that's 56k. 56k is a lot to try and get through, so. Bloody offense. Attack. We're gonna want to get blind or something else, so probably poison will be the first one we go for. Her. We go for in terms of circles. And then, great warrior on Giltrel. Three buffs. Unfortunately, we can't use Bloody Fortune now, but I'm going to say that's fine. Yeah, right now, Carlos's job is not die. Keep sand throwing. I'm going to go for the Miasma. Remove the ailment. Still acted before him. Yes. All right, poisoned. Do your thing. And what term is here? We're doing stuff to get him a conditional Evangelo right now. Tropic Eye. And I guess Lion Heal or something else, because we have nothing else we can really do at the moment. Yep. Swift Edge. We can go for the eroding miasma now. 
and you can refresh Great Warrior on Giltril. Oh god, Giltril is dead. That is with shield, yeah. That's rough, man. Put down that poison circle again, I think, because we have others. No, I could also just... No, because I want that healing to be up for this. Oh boy. Alright, there goes the ailment. For sand throw now. <laughs> Let's get Ultimate Miasma again. Refresh on Carlos. And it's alive the blind. Nice. And Giltro's blinded now. Blind versus blind. Do we still have reduced accuracy or no? Filter now can't dodge. That is awful. Yeah, we need to get rid of it. Funny enough, that's so weird. The yep. will go first. Got rid of it. Nice. And we still have attack, bloody offense. I need to put a roading asthma on her now, but we need Giltro to start doing him a double hit right now. That's just what we need him to do. Great warrior on you. Come on. There you go. But you're ro low rolling. God damn it, Giltro. Giltro is not getting any of the high procs that we need him to get. We're almost there, though. We are almost there. Try Panic Circle? We could. There's a low chance of proccing, but who knows. Super head by now. You have Axum Arch Break the back of the case of falls. That is true, actually. So let's start them uh, with them. Uh, right, meditation, right? Meditation and then um, uh, meditation, then concussions. Because unfortunately, blood fortune is a buff. So that would get rid of attack order, I think, from Giltrol. 
<laughs> All right. Chaos Circle. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, we can move him to the back. Everyone, that's the only thing. Oh boy. Alright, that was actually a lot of damage that was done. But it's apparently still not enough. Alright, I'm gonna have to start like slowing down. I'm gonna have to start slowing down on the damage being done right now. So, well, she also lost the ailments. So let's go for another sand throw. I'm gonna refresh that Tropic Eye. Pretty, dude. And then we gotta heal everyone here a little bit. Should have been back. Actually, yeah, you're right, because we already have the other one up right now, so. That's Anthro. Also, oh that. Hold up. Sorry, let me pull this up real, again real fast. Welcome to the gamer. Thanks for the follow, you're awesome men. Welcome. The tropic Eye. You could line heal the back row specifically. And then the, do we want a meditation? before we concussion or should we just start spamming concussion right now in hopes that it lands because then we get more turns with bloody fortune right all right we will on the meditation then getting slowly more dangerous because of panic. I'm going to tell me to try and get rid of all of that. Don't try and score you that on Carlos Force Break. You sure? Because then we're not going to have this thing for three turns to bonus. He's readying her ult. Ah. Ailment from Nersobo. We are going to Atonement as well, just in case. All right, and we're going to uh, final blow then. Let's see. We got all of them. Now we have a smite problem though. We have the head binds, but we have no ailment on them to be able to take advantage of it.
Go took and try Shadow Bite. Shadow Bite only works on um, uh, people that are, are ailing opponents, not binded opponents, right? Oh, Bite as uh, this one. Gotcha. We could, yeah. Let's go ahead and put the, um, uh, oh, man, I. sure. Let's keep up on that. Okay? Doesn't have attack order or anything else yet. So great warrior on you. And Carlos is now just here. Lily offense is still available for the front, so. Corkscrew. Good paralyzed, actually, you're right. Six thousand. Paralyzed. Panicked. Alright, there we go. Now we break. Should be able to just kill here, I think. I think I'm gonna corkscrew just because it's it has a chance to double hit, I believe. So it's technically two hits. That's it. Almost 20k in damage. There we go, and Jaws. Bonjour. Run, you coward, run. And with that, we finally have it. Now Motum will have a fancy dress. Is that all we did this for? Actually, what am I doing? Just. Above Queen now, since I have the best in slot. <laughs> that is, that was what your title was, Motarm, I believe. Oreo <laughs> Brine? <laughs> but Princess Buff Queen. Ah, gotcha. So, Headbind Resist, Golden Armor that shines with regal dignity. Enemies tremble at the mere sight. Oh god damn it, I don't have enough money! Alright, so let's... Time to grind cash, you sons of bitches. We should. I'm gonna have to get all that, but fine. Hold on. Party. Farm begin, boys. Our job is to get in and get out with as much loot as possible. Nani, 
い眠ると元気になるな。おいのほら、みがないとまだ来るとよい。みんなおかえり。We don't need any of that. 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 We just need an AM thread in case things go horribly wrong. Nani, Nani? Right, actually, let me save that I, I have this ready right now. Alright, so we gotta go here. The Penny Baron northeast corner. That is true. Let's start from the exit. Because the boss isn't here. All right, safe stroll. The encounter rate is now down. As you explore the forest, you suddenly halt when you sense someone's presence. When you search around, you spot an adventurer hiding in the uh, bracken. Did be mentoring advent the mentoring mentor that we got the request for? When you heal him, the adventurer emerges. Who are you? I'm waiting I'm waiting here to rendezvous with my toddy comrade. You hand him the letter that was entrusted to you by the requesting party. Hmm, I see. So she added back uh so she added back already. Thank you for talking, taking the time to deliver this to me. I couldn't tell if she'd come after me or not. So I was here waiting for her. Now that I know she's not coming here, I can return to the city without worry. Thanks again. After thanking you, the adventurer removes the thread from his knapsack. And I was about to say, if you removed my thread, I was gonna fucking flip shit. Only so much space. I think take is the one that we didn't get a lot of. Hey. Yes. Oh, time of flowers? Look out, you sons of bitches. But Farm 3 anticipated it. We saw that coming a mile away. And yeah, I forgot I put in Gilter instead of the other person. I forgot. Fuck. Gilter's here for no reason. Quite literally. Fifty nine out of seventy. So when you kill the boss, that is a really easy way to just get a bunch of items. <laughs> I don't know these are needed for quest from the looks of it. You, uh, you didn't ex <laughs> you didn't color in the walls and the stairs. You also didn't explore the bottom room. Shush, shush. No need to know that yet. Arsus, Warbo, Billy. That's what I apparently I missed out on. This staff that's for HP. 
This bow that's for strength. This armor, it's boots. It's slightly more match defense, or practically double the match defense of the defense. Those red are supposed to be in there. But all right, we still are missing some money. Oh, the colony. It's just so amazing how safe this whole thing is. You have flee to leave to leave immediately. You have someone if you if someone goes uh, survivalist, you can just ensure that you don't get surprised. And expands your bag space. And you just have someone have safe stroll, so you can just go without worrying about combat whatsoever. Hit up all the gathering spots because they're generally close to each other or close to an exit or shortcut these kind of things to actually be possible. And you just make a bunch of money. Right of inventory space. And the worst thing that could happen is you have to use a threat. A hundred gil. And sorry. And then you just sell all of this. You don't see those payout in the early game. Of course, in the early game, you don't have the option to do some of these things. Some of the better things that you want in order to make this possible are not available until at least level 40. But once you get it, また来るのを待っておるぞ。はい、another hit up what's it called the two gathering points and just leave when we need to like, there's a lot of money to be made to be had in just one single labyrinth especially when you get to this late so when things start selling for a surprising amount survivor group that I made for that one just to mass gather stuff 
I would evolve into Mr. Krabs at this rate. I like money. Yep, 1.9k for every single one of these. Alright, so let me also make sure I'm gonna be buying this for her so she has it. So we know how much money we need and when we are done. Like, buy this for her right now. We have the money for it. Just do it. Alright. What was the other item that we wanted, if any? Or is that actually it? Because you have your, um, uh, your scythe right there already. We still kind of need to equip them. Yeah. Mio needs... Honestly, I would want a lacy hide for her, but that evil plume. Fucking evil plume. Horse demon, stealth one. That wait until Corella feeds you. Yeah, those ones weren't too bad, but mildly annoying to f uh, to fight them. They weren't too bad at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that we the next dungeon we go to is gonna have better stuff, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Alright, let's muster the new team. You need your weapons back? And some other things you need. Alright, hold on. Or move this, we're gonna give it to someone else. Same with the Almighty Ring, possibly. You can hold on to that for the moment. Fix your college shit. Nice. Congrats, man. think anyone needs like any actually maybe Motorm would want the spirit bead because of the wisdom 20 I don't remember if he's gonna want that or not because of being denied my friend damn man you got shit done and you and you're gonna Enjoy the, the fruits of your labor. Enjoy tragedy. is wisdom of 35 as well actually just take that from you and nobody i think need wait me only the shield doesn't she if she's gonna ha if she's gonna try and use the shield stuff then yeah she's gonna need a shield so all right get the fairy buckler Ronin wanted the huge, or Ronin wanted the Lacy Hide, so that way 
we can have more strength on you. You're our one DPS, technically. I'll give you the huge plate to give you a bunch more defense. The fairy buckler for defense up and giving you a shit to be able to do shit. Which feels weird when you try to imagine someone with a shield and a sight. And are they fights? And then probably the almighty ring, if I'm being honest. It's just really good. Ugh, you're blah, blah, blah. We got Vitality with the Plunk 2. I mean, we do actually have the Vitality 1. Looks good. Alright, just to make sure I show you the other options. We have, uh, for Mio. If you are going to be going Protector, I don't know how much you want to be tanky-ish. But we can go Almighty Ring, which is a plus 8 Omni boost to everything. Or... Nanjo. I think it was this one, right? The Lively Armlet, which has Vitality plus 35 and HP plus 45. That would increase your Vitality incredibly, increasing your defense from 64, 164 to 99, almost 200. Also, I have about 35 defense. Yeah. Actually, no, 35 exactly. I believe then. All right. It's good for shield attacks. Yeah, it is. Mm. All right, that's done. Now for you, Motorm. You said you wanted all in on wisdom. Does that mean you want the soul bead over almighty or how are you going to do this? Okay, if Motorman does not correct me, I'm going to assume soul bead because they said they wanted everything on wisdom. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if she wants int at all or not. Like, would she want the Crimson Staff? Because technically this is... Uh... Yeah, it is all stats up a little bit. It's an Omni boosting staff. He's now in possession of. <laughs> I mean, oh, fuck Magatamas. I, we didn't get any. Fuck, I didn't farm Magatamas. Crimson staff, that's going to be for her. But she's going to want some other stuff as well that likes for intelligence. Want a double crimson? Actually, I just realized we could do that. That'd be a plus six to all stats. It's effect, it would almost effectively be uh, an almighty ring. But I'm out of money. Honestly, tempted to say actually double crimson staff's not too bad. The plus six to all stats is actually kind of all right because it would put her into near a hundred. Hmm. 
Let me see. Does anyone have a staff that I could give them just as a temporary thing until we get some more money from the next dungeon? Because we're going to get more no matter what. And I want to start on it. <laughs> no. She does not need strength right now. We do have a, like, um, uh, a Terrier staff. And a golden wand. So, like, either one works. staff offhand, yeah. Because it just looks at the yellow text for what they get. Alright, for this, you're going to have 101 intelligence. Then we gotta re equip your armor right here. And with that, she's done. Nearly 300 TP, nearly 260 HP. But it, it's not necessarily done yet. They had one more request. Let us rest, and we're gonna go to the to the new dungeon. We could, we could, yeah. With you, right? I'm gonna just go back in the labyrinth. I just don't. I just don't want, uh, don't know what I would have done if something had happened to me. Thank you again. Thank you so much. You have my reward. Okay. Wait, hold on. Also, we need our, gear, our, our standard stuff back. We saw a sheep to go. We, uh, do you want to just go kill the sheep then? Uh, Alright, one second. Let's get Amrita's in case. Mile Primes. Oh, wait, not Hamal Primes, but Soma Primes. Uh, Nectars. If we don't have a medic, so we cannot heal on demand. Three. That's I don't think we have a formaldehyde on us right now, so one of those. An analysis scope and a heavenly gift. And I'm gonna have to get a simple scope somewhere here too. That's it, actually. Do we need him on Thirsty as A? We have some, I think. Uh, do. Nandake. 
throw the almighty ring and the bat we might as well sell that honestly and hold on what should we get rid of then i apparently had lively armaments here to spare shit All minor rings that Almighty outclasses. Well, we gotta. That's a. That depends. For example, what about these poison earrings? They could be useful, right? We might need these. the drop roach off you and you give that minor luck ring <laughs> the drop roach is so nice yeah like the fortune choker is better than the luck choker all right health armlet for the lively armlet the rabbit arm amulet we haven't found the next one of this or that For that, like some of these shields probably won't be used anymore like that. We don't need the snowshoes anymore, I think. We have at least the item here. Actually, wait, holy shit. Give me that. I'm going to equip it then. <laughs> Look at uh, not getting a drop and bailed on that quick. Yeah. We won't, we'll go ahead and get rid of this, I think. Or maybe put one more into it and then scrap it or recycle it because anything that has two agility arrows is gonna be just as good, such as the machete. We have better daggers now. I am very tempted to just sell all of these because we can buy them back, right? The golden ones you can just buy back for a simple, for a small fee. They did in the past game very little, mind you. That's awful. That is inherently awful. I can't pump it up. Fuck. And I can't pump this one up either. Shit. Not the lazy hide. Hold on. Just better for you. I mean, you lose two magic defense, apparently. You can hear oh, the huge plate that bye. Oh god, you guys. You guys want me to just not have anything in reserve, right? Bastards. <laughs> being lost right now look at all of that that we could have had ready for a moment's notice 
I can't watch. <laughs> it feels so wrong to lose all of those items. You have it. Lazy Eye is our most reason to have. <laughs> they sell for four. They sell for forty, and you have to buy them back for a hundred. That's an That's a two X markup. More than two X markup. <laughs> you got it for free, though. Shush. Now, we can't recycle these, so it's unfortunately like we cannot sell them then. So they're going to stay here. Let's save and we're going to go into the next dungeon. Or I guess the sheep, maybe. All right, where was the sheep? I forget. I do not remember where the sheep was found. Shrine? Which, which, which one? The Western Shrine? It was like the big boss. I think it was just a foe. Which one will have one be very close? Western Shrine here. All right. So. Oh, wait. Reb. What? You can get your revenge on the pill bug. I don't know if we can actually. The thing is pretty tanky, wasn't it? I don't remember what floor we're supposed to find these things on. There are three dungeons ahead now. Beatable. <laughs> And we did have no elemental damage last time. Well, again, I do not know which um, uh, floor we're supposed to do because this one was, I think, the rhinos that Wily Coyote themselves off of the off of the ledge. This one I want to say was that one that one bug that you used to walk over them. You have to like push it three times and wake up. That's Petal Bridge. Oh, you're right. Floor four all. Then we're gonna go to floor four then. I guess we could go to floor three and then climb up to four. Actually, this has them as well. They were like an integral part of the puzzle, so they were here as well. I do not remember. We never used a scope on these things either. how we want to do this. Is 
discount it to the same target twice. Let's go for blind. I don't think it had much to do against us, so... Lower your defense. Bang. What do you have right now? You already are in swift strike, so like... I don't think we pedal, we pedal scatter like immediately. Gimmick, not at all. as well. Yes, for his flash. Oh, you're right. He does actually. Nice. I forgot about that. Drop right, guy. And I mean, technically we have elemental bomb. Do we want to use bomb one or two? Because it's sending three random enemies. It doesn't say it can't it can't hit all of them. So uh... Aiden or Mio. damage. You can target these two. One is to hit all things for power. Two is random at 75% power. Ah, uh, gotcha. I press on the arm. Can you use that? Yep, we figured that out, Motarm. Can you spam beast now? We probably maybe could. Okay, we have to use Shadow Bike. We don't have the other one right now. This can only hit someone once, so that's the one thing that kind of sucks about it. We both got to see how much damage that does. Oh, gosh, there's also, yeah. We can go three minus defense debuffs in one turn. Yeah. Don't know how much they see this hat at all either. I mean, I'll fucking smoke cannon. I have nothing else I can really do right now. The miasma is up, the debuffs are up, the circle is up, so. Smoke cannon. And for you, elemental bomb from Aiden, I guess. We got a head feel. 
Wait, we got a partial skull? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you lucky ass. <laughs> Wait, is that... You have to beat it while it's head binded? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Just head find it. Random random piece rolled one three then one five. <laughs> and now apparently this one. We just gotta kill it, right? There's not like some other thing that we have to do. I believe. Beep beep. And it had no what's conditionals either, so just I don't I actually know. So force boost attack tell scatter eat some combo, yeah. Curious how much that does. Never mind, we won't know. How much does the femoral reap do? Like per hit. You've collected the fluffy wool. And now we are done. <laughs> you just kick the pill bug? It, it asked for it. <laughs> yep, still no new ones right here. Just these things. The Undersea Grotto one. For, got a lumberjack. And then this right here for a headbinders. Alright, so what does this give us? For no reason. 
Shokudai Kariki and Autumn Dew and Block. So that would have been a katana that had gauge fill. And this would have been a drive blade with TP3 arrows up. And the armor would have been blockers. I like gloves that have 18-18 but 15 HP as well as a bonus. Alright. That was a good amount of work. For the team put in. Let's go ahead and rest. Yeah, your agility of 104. 74, but Miasma armor bumps that up. 102. So actually, Fang is not just barely slower than you. But I think the stance might affect that, right? Yeah, it increases the hit rate evasion and act speed. I don't have any of that. I'm just, I have Miasma armor, so technically that boots me up. I would say probably a little bit, but not as much. I think it's just that my circles, my, some of my skills might have a higher modifier for speed. And for Motorm, I doubt she's going fast ever. All right. The Northern Shrine. Finally, let's step into this brand new shrine. A new labyrinth for us to explore. 